it's definitely I'm, I'm feeling great. Like I've been smiling this whole weekend, just knowing that game week's coming up and we actually get to go out and play somebody else. And I'm really excited to like see how well we do this year, especially with the team that we have. I feel like we're definitely closer as a squad, and I feel like we're just gonna go out there and have each other's back the whole time. And I'm just really excited. There's definitely a question for Deshaun because uh, I mean he has to keep everybody happy, but I mean closest between us, like with off the line, because it always starts with them. It just makes everybody else want to be better. Like with them having such a close camaraderie with like all the skill players, it makes them want to block harder. For me, it makes me want to block harder for the running back and pass set so we could hit a deep ball to Mike or something like that. And we all get to celebrate when we score too. So it's definitely a cool feeling. Um, we always take the first game as like that's like one of our goals is to win the opener, and uh, we always take it pretty like very seriously. And um, just e even though it's like Wofford, I mean they're still a great team, and we're still gonna have difficulties out there. We're gonna have to have adversity and stuff like that, but. We're definitely going to go out there. We're, we're focused as if we're playing anybody else. But like Coach Sweeney says, every time we step on the field, we're playing Clemson. And that's the team to beat. So that's just our mindset going throughout the week, just like finishing stuff up and just polishing a bunch of stuff. Coach Sweeney said today, Coach Sweeney said today that the opener is the hardest game to prepare for with some of the unknowns. But does that, do the unknowns kind of make it exciting when you get to see some new guys do some new things? I mean, yeah, that's college football, though. I mean, you don't know what to expect until you get on the field and you see what they do. I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff unexpected from them and for, from us. So it's just going to be exciting. It's just going to make the game more fun to watch as well as play. Uh, I mean, every time we get the ball, we, we, we try to go score. And um, that's definitely a point of emphasis for us. But we know they're going to, they're an option team. They like to run the clock down. But we're just going to, whenever we get the ball, we're going to take care of it. And then whenever we do that, we're going to go score every time. Um, what Coach Primus says, we have a lot of depth of the position because we have, six or seven tight ends in the room now. But with Seth being down, it's kind of a bummer, but still to have his leadership and presence there, like on the field with us, warming up with us, it's definitely, uh, it makes it more encouraging, even, especially for the little guys when we go out there and Seth has something to say to everybody. So it definitely feels good. It's sad not to, I mean, if he's going to miss the first game of his senior year, but I know uh, he's not a selfish person and uh, he's just going to go out there and just be a leader he always has been. I mean, there's there's no competition. I mean, like I said, we're all going to celebrate when we score. But no, nah, me and Secker boys, I mean, there's really no competition, really. Definitely when he first got here. I mean, as soon as he put the pads on, starting fights and whatnot, like people were just annoyed with how hard he goes. Um, but he's definitely going to be a, a special dude. He's going to definitely make it different for us on the tight end room, at least.